Hello, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning from Nigeria. Good morning from any other place you're joining that this morning. And good evening from Australia. How are you doing? <laughs> How are you doing? So excited to be here this morning. Um, whether you know the devil likes it or not, we will have this conversation. We will have this conversation. So I'm here now. It's been a, a little bit hectic <laughs> because uh, somehow the uh, the Facebook connections just got disconnected. All the Facebook connections just got disconnected. So at the moment, I am not even sure that I'm live on Facebook. I know I'm live on YouTube, but I don't think I'm live on Facebook. I don't think I'm live in the group and in the in the pages. So um, if you are on YouTube with me, what I want you to do this morning is to just share the link um, from where you're joining on YouTube to Facebook so that those on Facebook can join us this morning. And these are some of the things that we cannot, uh, technicalities we cannot um, uh, predict. They can happen at any time. So, and this morning <laughs> happens to be one of those mornings, but I'm excited that at least we are live on, um, on YouTube. So we're going to have the conversation. I see some people are joining on, on YouTube. Uh, thanks very much for joining on YouTube. God bless you. I'm I'm really excited about this morning conversation. Conversation. Um, I believe it's going to be a beautiful one. So uh, I'm really, really looking forward to sharing uh, today's success convert with everyone. So um, as we just wait a little bit, we're already far be behind. Um, but yeah, uh, really, really sorry for that. Um, but by all means, we're going to have a good time today. Thanks, Emmanuel, for joining. Um, thanks, Shina. Thanks, Paul. Good to see you, Paul. Thanks to everyone who has joined. God bless you. Uh, so because of our time, I wouldn't take too much time um, so that we can get into what we have to share this morning. Um, so if you're joining us for the first time, I want to welcome you, especially to this edition of Success Converge. Success Converge is a platform we've created to, you know, inspire and encourage people to live, to discover and to live the excellent life. We believe that excellence is a possibility and everyone who has come in contact with the divine spirit of God has the capacity to be an excellent person. And so, uh, that is what we do at Success Convert. And Success Convert is anchored by um, Life Excel Resource Center. Life Excel Resource Center is a non denominational youth led faith based organization um, that is mandated with the mission or the vision to inspire young people for excellence. Um, and we do that through the instrumentality of the Word of God. And you know, God has really been faithful to us in the past years. Um, uh, through this platform, a lot of people have been blessed. A lot of people have been inspired, encouraged to be their best. And we are always looking forward to the future of what you know God has in store for us. So if you're joining for the first time, we want to especially welcome you. We want to ask that you stay with us, be patient with us. Um, so sorry about you know the, the disconnections you know this morning, but uh, we promise you that we will deliver. Um, great content uh, at every point in time. So you're welcome one more time, and uh, we we uh, look forward to you know seeing you regularly in subsequent sessions. Thanks very much, Vincent, for joining. Good to see you. And uh, so if we are ready to go, then let's do that. So I'm going to pull up my presentation and then uh, we will take it from there
Okay, so. Just give me a minute to get this um, sorted. It says that it's on the screen, but I don't know why it's not coming up. Okay. Yeah, okay, so now I have it on the screen. <laughs> All right, okay. Great, this is what I want. All right, so um, this morning we will be talking about the power and the purpose of excellence. The power and the purpose of excellence. That's what we're going to be discussing this morning. And I'm really, really excited about it. Really, really excited about you, about it, because I believe it's going to be a blessing to, to you and to everyone who's going to join this morning. Excellence is something that I've come to have a personal relationship with. I've come to have a personal relationship with excellence. And I love to talk about it all the time. I love to talk about it all the time because my life has been tremendously transformed or impacted by the virtue of my contact with excellence. And there is nobody I know who has come in contact with excellence that has not had the same amount of testimony or the same degree of testimony when it comes to an encounter with excellence. As a matter of fact, the best thing that can happen to you as an individual is to come in contact with the spirit of excellence. It's so powerful. It's so powerful. It's so powerful. It's so transformational. And it can, it can, it can change your life. Really, it can change your life if you come in contact with the spirit of excellence. And so that's why I love to talk about excellence all the time, because of my own personal experience, personal journey with excellence. And my dream or my goal is to see more people experience excellence in their own life, in their own personal journey, in their work, in their ministry, in in their career, in their family, in whatever it is, in their job that they are doing, in whatever it is that they are doing, I want to see more people experience excellence because it is very transformational. So this morning, this is what we're going to be talking about. The power and the purpose of excellence. So, I believe that because of the degree of the power that excellence carries, it is a responsibility. Because of the results that excellence brings into the life of anyone who comes in contact with it, I believe it is a, is a responsibility. And because it is a responsibility, nobody, not everybody is able to afford to put in the price or put in the work, put in the demand that is required to become an excellent person because it is a responsibility. It is a responsibility because God demands excellence from you and I. God demands what excellence from you and I. There is no way we will be serving an excellent God <laughs> and he wouldn't expect us to be excellent people, right? So God's expectation for us as his people is to be excellent. And so it's a responsibility because it is a demand from God. Two, it is a responsibility because it is rooted in the gifts that comes from God through his spirit, which is the spirit of excellence. It is rooted in the gift that comes from God through the spirit of God, and that is the spirit of excellence. And you will agree with me that if you give somebody a gift, if you gift, if you, if you, if you give someone a gift, 
and it's a gift that requires to be looked after if it is a gift that is that requires to be taken care of and the person you gave that gift is not taking it serious i believe you will not be happy you would expect the person that you gave that gift to be responsible for that gift over that gift so that is exactly what the, what the, what what excellence is to us when we receive the gift or the spirit of excellence it becomes a gift from god that god expects us to look after and there are, there are different dimensions or three three specific dimensions to this responsibility which is called excellence the first dimension is that it is our responsibility to understand the power of excellence it is my responsibility it is your responsibility to understand the power of excellence and that is why we're talking about it this morning it is my responsibility it is your responsibility to understand how to apply the power of excellence one it is my responsibility and your responsibility to understand the power of excellence number two it is my responsibility and your responsibility to understand how to apply this power and then it is our collective responsibility and individual responsibility to know how to use the power of excellence to achieve the purpose of excellence it is our responsibility to understand or to know how to use the power of excellence to achieve the purpose of excellence because the power of excellence is targeted at a specific purpose but first of all we need to understand what the power of excellence is so in the rest of this conversation we're going to be looking at looking at or exploring different dimensions of the power of excellence and then We'll round up with some points on the purpose of excellence. I'll call it a day. And I believe it's going to be very useful to you. So now take note that people who fail to understand this, this, this conversation we're going to have today will fail to benefit from the power of excellence. Because you cannot benefit from what you don't understand what you don't understand you cannot benefit from it so people who fail to understand the power of excellence will fail to benefit from it i want that to stick to your to your mind as we proceed in this conversation that if you fail to understand that excellence comes to you with a power then there is no way you can put that power to use in your life, in your in your work with God, in your individual life, in everything that you, ha you, you do. Your ability to maximize the power of excellence is, is, is dependent on your understanding that excellence comes with power. Secondly, People who fail to understand the purpose of excellence will always abuse it. So you see people who are supposedly excelling. But when you look at their lifestyle, when you look at their attitude, when you look at their comportment, if you look at the way they treat other people, you begin to wonder. And sometimes you begin to ask yourself, why should people like that have, have access to excellence? Why should people like that have access to the opportunity to excel if they don't value it, if they don't understand the reason why excellence is given to them, if they don't understand the purpose of excellence? Because I believe that for God to give you an opportunity to come in contact with the spirit of excellence, it's for a purpose. It's not for jamboree. It's not for jokes. It's not for child's play. It's not for fun. It is for something that is very serious. And people who fail to understand the purpose of excellence will always abuse it. So in the rest of the conversation, we're going to be talking about 
like I said, the power of excellence. And then we're going to go ahead and, and discuss the purpose of excellence and roundup for today. So the first power of excellence is that it breaks protocols. The first power of excellence is that it breaks protocols. Now, you and I know what, what protocols can mean to our success in life, to our pursuits, to our dreams, to our passion, to our mission. And there is nothing that frustrates vision. There's nothing that frustrates dreams. There's nothing that frustrates ambition more than protocols. You go to a particular office to do something and you are faced with certain protocols that you cannot wait any longer. And so you give up. So when we talk about protocols, talking about you know, those conventional step-by-step -step procedures, a person or thing must follow before it becomes accessible. You know, there are some things that before you know you access them, you need to go through step-by-step procedure to be able to get to it. And sometimes offices, I mean, this is, this is more um, you know, relevant when it has to do with office things, right? You go to an office, there are procedures you have to follow before you see you know, the person in charge of that office. If you just show up to see someone in that office, they'll tell you, sorry, you can't. Why? Because the protocol is that you have to book an appointment. <laughs> you book an appointment if there is a slot. If there is no slot, you have to wait until there's a slot. But if there's a slot, you book an appointment and then you come on your date of scheduled appointment. Because you can't just show up in that office. Right? So protocols are there sometimes and they limit us from getting certain things we need to get because sometimes to get some things in life you need to queue you need to queue you have to be in line until it gets to your turn but for a person of excellence you can jump the queue because of your excellence for a person of excellence you can jump the queue because of your excellence and when you're able to jump the, jump the queue, when you're, able to, when you're able to overcome protocols, what that means is that you, can, you will then be able to grow and go faster in life because your work will begin to speak to you. I mean, your work will begin to speak for you. There is no doubt, there is no doubt that protocol is one of the greatest limitations to breakthrough. In life, protocol is one of the greatest limitations to breakthrough in life. And people who can break, you know, protocols, they are those who can succeed faster. And if there is anything that I know that has the capacity to break protocols for your sake, if there is anything I know that can break protocols as quickly as possible. It is excellence. It is excellence, nothing else. The quickest way to break any protocol that is holding you back, that is that has become a limitation to your breakthrough, to certain places or things you want to access, is excellence. I remember. The first time I traveled to Australia, that was in 2008, as a student, a master's student. And I got to Brisbane Airport. Immediately I got to Brisbane Airport. There was a queue, long queue in front of me. But immediately I got to the airport, into the airport, one guy, one black guy like that, just singled me out. And started questioning me, who are you? Where are you coming from? What did you come here to do? 
So I, I started explaining myself. I was a bit scared because this was my first time of traveling that far. And I didn't know exactly what to expect. I didn't have anyone to tell me exactly what to expect. You know, but I explained myself. Then he called another another guy, uh, security, border security guy, who came and continued the conversation with me. So I told the guy, I'm here for a conference, a World Poetry Science Association conference. And I came on the auspices of the Young Scientist Program. I had won a Young Scientist Award that has provided me with the opportunity to come for this conference. And this is my letter to show uh, or to support my claims. So he collected everything and then he went away. And I stood there waiting and everybody, you know, who came down from the flight with me, you know, queued up and we are being processed through security and through, you know, customs and all that. And I was just standing there waiting. So I waited, and I can't remember exactly how long I waited, probably for about 30 minutes. And then the, the, the second police, the security, border security guy came to me, came back to me. And you know what he said? He told me, sorry for keeping you waiting. We are going to give you an express service. Can you find, locate your bag and come back to me and I will take you straight to the front. And I was like, wow, this is serious. This is interesting. I went, I picked my bag. I went back to him and he took me from the end of the queue straight to the beginning of the queue, to the, to the front of the queue. From the end, straight to the beginning or, you know, the front of the queue. And that was how I was quickly processed. Immediately, you know, the, the custom guys started talking to me. They were like, welcome to Australia. We heard you're here for, you know, this particular conference. Um, is that what you do back home? And all that. So we started talking. And I was quickly processed. Now, people who were lined up before me, all of them were still on the line when I was taken to the front and processed. And I left the airport. What happened? I believe that what happened was that after telling them that I was given an, an award, the Young Scientist Award to come to Australia, they had to call because the letter I gave to them had the phone number of the people in charge and all that. I believe that they had to call to confirm what I was saying. And when they found out that what I was saying was true, they gave me an express service. They gave me an express service. So even though... Protocol can be a limitation. If you're an excellent person, you can break through protocols. That's why I say that excellence is a protocol broker, breaker. Excellence is a protocol breaker. If you're an excellent person, it will break all protocols for your sake. Now, if we remember the story of Esther, who saved her people from near destruction. We would always say uh, it was because she prayed for three days and three nights with her, with her maidens. You know, they joined her and they prayed and the people of Israel also prayed and all that. And then she, when she came to the king, the Bible said she won his favor and the king extended to her the gold scepter that he was holding. She approached and touched the top of the scepter, and the king asked her, what do you want, Queen Esther? What is your request? Even if it's half of the kingdom, it will be given to you. Even if it's half of the kingdom, that is breaking protocol. But the point I'm trying to make is this. To be able to put her mind, for Esther to be able to put her mind to fast and to pray, right and then going ahead to doing it because you can have them in your mind a plan you can have a desire can you can say okay i want to do this i want to do that but going ahead to doing whatever you say you are going to do is a huge commitment onto excellence people who say what they they who do what they say, who say something and then go ahead and do what they say 
are people who are committed to excellence. So she prayed quite all right. And we could say, oh, it was God's favor upon her. But if, can you imagine what would have happened if she was not committed to praying and to fasting? And one thing I know about excellent people is that only excellent people can commit to what they say they will do. Only excellent people can commit to what they say they will do. So it was that commitment that granted her the favor. It was her commitment to excellence, which is, I said I was going to do this for the sake of my people, and I went ahead and did that. That is the commitment to excellence that I'm talking about. And that was what granted her the favor that saved her and her generation. That was what granted her the favor that saved her and her generation because she was committed to doing what she said she was going to do. And being committed to doing what she said she was going to do resulted in breaking protocol for her sake and for her generation. So are you in a situation where you need someone to overlook a circumstance for your sake? Are you, are you looking for, a, are you in a situation where you need someone to waive a condition for you? Oh my God, it's, it's only going to take excellence. I've seen several students who have had the opportunity to be, to, you know, to, to you know get is is a condition waived for them a protocol a standard taken off from them so standard can be taken off because of you if you exhibit excellence if you commit to excellence standards can be pulled down rules can be broken if you're someone who is committed to excellence and that's the point that I'm trying to make. So when I say that excellence is a protocol breaker, it is based on this fact that when you commit yourself to being the best, when you commit yourself to doing what you say you would do that will make you an exception from other people, then it will automatically pull down standards, pull down barriers, pull down you know, doors just for your sake. So the first thing, about the power of excellence is that it breaks protocols. It breaks protocols. Number two, the second power of excellence is that it grants access. It grants access. It grants access. One of the greatest blessings that you can ask for in life is access. One of the greatest blessings that you can ask for in life is access. Access to people, access to places, and access to opportunities. Oh my God. If there are people that you will have access to. Your life will change forever. There are places that you have access to, your life will change forever. There are opportunities you will have access to, your life will change forever. And if there is anything that I know that can give you access to any person, any place, or any opportunity, it is excellence. Excellence has the power to give you access to any place, any person and any opportunity. And you know what? Access is something that many people pay heavily for. Access is something that many people pay heavily for to have. People pay heavily, you know, to have access to places, pay heavily to have access to people, pay heavily to have access to certain opportunities. But you know what? A person of excellence do not need to pay to have access to things. His or her excellence opens the door of access automatically. Excellence opens the door of access automatically. For example, I work with students, right? I work with a lot of students. 
who want to travel abroad. Many of them achieve that. I mean, they, they want to have access to living abroad, right? Or studying abroad. Many of them achieve that by paying heavily for it. I mean, millions of Naira, millions of Naira, not thousands, millions of Naira for those who want to migrate on skill-based uh, applications or skill-based um, programs, they pay millions of Naira to do that. And for those who don't have money to, you know, I mean, who are not able to access scholarship, pay millions of Naira in school fees to have access to studying abroad. But you know what? Excellent students live and study abroad for free. Excellent students have access to living abroad, studying abroad for free because their excellence opens the door of scholarship to them. Because their excellence opens a door of uh, scholarship to them, which gives them what? Access to living and studying abroad. Like I said, there, there are a lot of things I have enjoyed in my life.